come in from Mario from Italy. Now this guy is in the military in Italy and he has been seeing the skies. He's been around for a long time and noticed a lot of strange things. He sends a lot of emails in as well and he's seeing this on the screen and it just is very very strange. He states as well he's never seen this before, never seen this pink haze before and this again has just come in on the 29th of the 10th this evening. Look at the different textures and even the dark shadows that are behind it and that yellow reflection again. You've got two colours. It is so evident that we're seeing these strange formations in the skies. These are not normal clouds. These are a mixture of chemicals and also cloud formations that have just been tricked into covering up the area of the sun using harp. I'm going to show the next image. Now this next image he used a high performance camera and please please look at these cloud formations they are very very spectacular and very strange. This is the next image that Mario sent in. I mean again looking at it very clearly you can see those strange formations. Now on a sundown normally you wouldn't see this. They're very rare and he also states in his email as well he could smell a burning smell. Something was burning but it wasn't around or smoke in the area. It was coming from the atmosphere. He notices those chem planes and then sees this strange mixture of chemicals and also states that still the people don't look up. He walks around and notices that everybody is just facing down to their mobile phones. So Mario, thank you very much for this piece of evidence that all of us need to see and have a safe evening. Now we can see these next images that are coming in from Sue. Now Sue is from Oldham in the UK and in her email she stated as well that she saw the sol, the sun going down as you can see that yellow reflection in the bottom half of the screen but above you can notice that red haze in the sky that's still there from the destroyer Nibiru Planet X. It's that colour that we're looking for. It shouldn't still be there in the sky but it is and it's reflecting across our night sky as well. Now this next photograph that Sue sent in as well is very important. We can see the moon can't we above on the screen but now the reflection from the sun is reflecting off the moon as we full well know but look below on them cloud formations you can clearly see that there's another reflection. Now if that reflection was from the sun, that orange haze, it'd be reflecting on the moon as well. So there's two reflections. One from the reflection of the sun and also we've got that orange haze from another heavily body that's out there. We're going to continue to show these images because we've been trying to wake others up to showing that there is something wrong. There is more reflections in the skies like there was on the other video. There's a huge blue light source and I've got other well overwhelming images from webcams I will show on another video as well. So we've just got to carry on and it is so becoming more evident. So let's move on to other people's images. So again, thank you Sue for these photos. Okay, we've got this next image that's coming in from Chelsea from West Yorkshire in the UK and she stated when looking at the skies this strange pink haze appeared for about 10 minutes and then it just disappeared and noticing that the sun you could just see the color in the background there behind that trampoline it was still there there was no movement of the sun at the time it just appeared and then it just disappeared proving that that haze just causes a uh, light saucer through the skies and then disappears as there is another object reflecting. So thank you Chelsea for this image. Okay we've got this diagram in front of us from Mr James Puri and this guy has took this attachment off his uh, mobile phone about the weather but what is quite clear as you can see on the screen is a chemtrail. They're starting to put chemtrails on these apps for the weather patterns and what have you. So again that is interesting to see that as on the screen is so clear to see. So 
thank you for this because they do put chemtrails on weather channels and also even adverts movies films you can see those lines in the skies because there's so much of it going on now people just don't even realize when filming them here we have two more fresh new attachments that have come through as well from Maury from Liverpool now this photograph is showing you that it's becoming very dark look at again on the land and that red haze that's around the area of this cloaking device grey skies and dimness and thank you for your email as well because again it is becoming much more evident all you've got to do is just step outside and look at the skies and you will see the big changes so I'm going to move on to another one of your images okay this next image again from Liverpool from this kind subscriber looking up to the uh, the area of the Sun before 10 a.m. also looking at the screen you can see that white color not the yellow color that we see before many chemtrails spread across the skies and a gray haze so just more evidence that here as well is being hammered by all this that they're spraying every day here we have more attachments that have come through from Artro from the Philippines another different part of the world now this kind subscriber sent a few of these photos in and she states that the skies become red like blood red and the Sun became orange now haven't we heard this one before just a few weeks back now this is happening over in the Philippines this image has just come in now the Sun is far too red so I'm gonna to move to the next photograph here's the next uh, image and it does clearly look orange again doesn't it other parts of the world are seeing this even the image you just saw from Liverpool the Sun is becoming a very strange color again we're seeing other reflections of different colors from the other side red colors it's still happening right now so thank you for these images these are fantastic to show the skies in the Philippines are seeing these changes too okay now we've got a video from the Philippines as well by this kind subscriber now looking on the screen we have definitely seen this before haven't we and there's no sandstorm in the Philippines they're seeing this right now so I'm gonna play this video for you because it's very important to get this message out Ayan. Uh, five, five. 5 p.m. in the afternoon, October 28, 2017, here in the Philippines, Calamba City, Laguna. Here in the Philippines. So there you go. It just shows you, doesn't it? And I said this, didn't I, on another video some time back. When that object in the sky was showing in the UK, I said on a video that we will see it again. It will come back. But many other people said, no, it's a one-off situation. One in a lifetime. But no way. It's being seen in the Philippines. It's being seen in other parts of the world. And I believe in the coming future, we will see it again around our skies. So thank you again for sending this information in and this video. Here is the next video image of what this kind subscriber showed as well. Going back to his car, I took the image from the Philippines. Again, you can see the orange area of this uh, object in the sky that's reflecting. This is the next photograph that has also been sent in by this kind gentleman as well with his wife. You can also clearly see how orange it is and that's what we saw too. So this and these images, as I said as well, from the 28th, only yesterday, these of their skies were like this. And as I said before, the news media here in the UK and also many parts of um, 
the world haven't reported this. They don't want their people to know what has been going on. This is still going on to this day of a huge reflection that's reflecting from out there in our solar system. Them objects, Helion, Nibiru, Ardoba, Harrington and Farada, they are all out there. And they're reflecting in our skies now. Blue reflections as well from the Kachinas. They're, everything is happening. So I'm going to move to the next photo. Okay, this is the last photo from these fantastic people that's down there taking these images and sending them through. Absolutely outstanding. So big respect to both of you. And also, if you catch any more Strange of, of the Skies on photos and videos, please do send them in. I've still got thousands of photographs to still sort out to this day, and I will sort them out. I've just been very busy today, and... Um, I've got lots to do so I'm going to go to the next uh, load of images okay we've got some attachments that have come through from a kind subscriber that's in the USA now he describes when he was um, out with his uh, family members and they were playing this football game and the skies become very very dark and there was a black haze like a shadow to the left side and with these photographs, they come really, really much stranger as we proceed through this video. Because um, we've got to be open-minded and think out the box with this. Because when you look at the photo, that sky, that blue colour, I don't believe to be real. I believe they do spray the skies with different colours, this blue haze. And you will see this on the other photographs. Okay, now this next photograph clearly shows, doesn't it, that something's wrong. And look at that dark shadow around the area of this reflector, that I call it, and those chemtrails, that strange cloud formation that's up there as well, just doing nothing. And these strange cloud formations are all across the world right now. Today in the UK I saw these strange cloud formations and also that reflector. Now can you see the outer lining? that black shadow that's showing around this reflector. Now, when you look at that blue sky, as I just said earlier on, it does not look real, does it? I mean, everything there, they just try and make out, looking up, that the sky is that natural colour, but it is not. They're spraying chemicals to try and fool the public. And looking on the ground on that football match, it just clearly shows that people are just not looking up and the younger generation of this world have got so used to this now. Here is the next photograph as well of the uh, strange skies and that black haze. Now we've seen these on photographs and webcams from around the world. I've spoke about this before about this black shadow that's around the area of this reflector this magnified reflector with that dark shadow as well that's traveling with the area of the Sun is a huge dark reflection from other objects so I'm going to leave you now with this last image because again we've really got to study the skies and we've got to make sure that other people are fully aware of this situation because again people on the ground are not looking up and seeing these changes and they're right there right in front of our eyes so take care